So, got some questions about Kino Body. Who's that guy that Kino Body is copying? That is it Taj Taj Mahal or some dude? Is it the same house? Someone Kino Body uh, uh, Instagram here. No, I don't hate Kino Body. Just share my comments and criticisms. He he makes his money by alluding to the fact that you can have his physique if you just buy his ebook. And Greg says he's never ever taken any gear. He says he doesn't even know how gear works. He says his testosterone levels are really high, but he admits he's never had a blood test. Um, checking his hormones. So it's quite easy. And he's not into the money. He's definitely not into the money. This guy's like, you know, he's just a... And he claims he's natty. He claims he's natty. All right, so let's have a look, see, through uh, Greg's lifestyle here. All right, so he likes to get his shirt off. He likes to uh, pride himself how much shit he can eat and stay ripped and lean. Now, there's a few questions people ask me about him. We'll get to it in a second. Let me have a look, see. Now, some people think that uh, this is, as, as Elliot guy, some people, Elliot admits he's done does steroids and hence his receding hairline with the Swolder traps. So Greg's hairline is receding. It looks like he's getting some hair implants there. It looks like he's getting hair implants. Because what happens when you're on the gas, it shuts down your LH and FSH levels, which in some men affects hair growth. So you'll see a lot of the guys, they wear hats. They wear like Scooby or uh, Low Blinder, etc. Always wearing the hats because they've lost their hair. Their hair's really thin. And you see a lot in guys, a really big forehead. And it's, it's no, no big deal. Not having, It's just cosmetic, but it's very common. So you see very thick hair, but then on the top, very sparse and thin, uh, receding hairline. It looks like he's got implants on his hair. And there's a picture here. Like, look at this ab shot, right? Look at this ab shot. All right, there's nothing there. And now check this out. So what is that little mark just there? What's that? Some people think it could be an injection site for growth hormone. Because what when you use growth hormone, I've never used, I mean, I've used anabolics before, but I've never used growth hormone. Most anabolics, either oral or intramuscular injection. But with growth hormone, your subcutaneous fat. And what you do, if you put it on certain parts of your body, it'll literally, if you're already pretty lean, it'll make you even leaner looking. It'll just burn off the extra body fat. So the most common site for growth hormone injection is the stomach. And what can happen is you get these little lumps here after an injection. So I thought, maybe that's just a vein, because Greg's pretty vascular. But if we go to another shot of Greg when he's a little bit skinnier, we can see that, that, little, uh, that little lump is gone. I like this interview. This interview is pretty funny where he, he's got his uh, actress in here. She's actually paid just to get her tits out and ask Greg a few questions. I mean, you'd have to be a dumb motherfucker to not see how infomercial this video was. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's marketing. That's how marketing works. Get some tits out, get the good lining, get the, the aesthetic girl out there. And I mean, I use that angle as well, but my pretty girl was my girlfriend. I don't need to pay some girl to be a fill-in. Um... But it's quite humorous. Anyway, anyway, so Greg talks about not needing to do any blood tests. He says you can't do it, he says. He says you can't do drug testing because he's not a professional athlete. Well, he wrote to the World anti Doping Agency like I recommended he did. And that was good, Greg. It's good that you actually did that. Uh, let's have a look-see here. So here's an email from me. Uh, I sent this to Richard Pound, who's the head of the, or one of the top dogs, World Anti-Doping Agency. Now, Greg, uh, Dick Pound doesn't know that much about drug testing, but he knows about the legalities of it. And he recommended to me, I was saying I'd like to do some drug testing. I've never been tested in 19 years of comp competitive running and cycling. Uh, Richard Pound says, I would approach either or both the Cycling Athletics Federation in your country and ask them to test you. Showing up to be tested may not be persuasive as asking them to test you, say, six times a year without prior notice, and to apply the full menu, including the CIR test, carbon isotope ratio test. Accredited labs will not test unless the tests are at the quest of federation that handle the results management. So that's why it's so easy to pass drug tests, because if you're a star athlete, your federation, 99.9% of the time, will not want you to go down. So the federation manages the drug tests and they're like very selective of who gets what's test. So often we see on the internet here, we see like 41 year old gets banned, four year ban for steroids. Now this guy, uh, Michael Buckley of Reno, Nevada, you know, just a master's rider. You're not making money from it, just out there with the other master's riders is doing it. And he got busted for uh, some peptides, it looks like, and a bit of anabolics. 
but they did a carbon isotope ratio test, which is like Usain Bolt doesn't get done carbon isotope ratio testosterone tests. So that's pretty shit. We're testing little, you know, weekend warriors like myself. Well, actually, I've never been tested, but we're testing, we're catching these guys. Meanwhile, big dogs like Usain Bolt, do you know why that is? Because Michael Buckley from Reno, Nevada doesn't make any money for Cycling USA or whatever. You know, he's not on the Olympic team. He's If he gets caught, it's good for them because, like, well, we're cleaning it up. But if someone like Usain Bolt gets caught, it destroys the sport, and that makes money impact, so we don't have that. Anyway, let's get back to Greg, full natty kino body. So what does an athlete, a professional athlete, who's on steroids for years and years and years look like? He looks like Chow Sonnen, USC fighter, all right? Chow Sonnen admits he took a shit ton of steroids to compete in his weight class. But we see... You know, this is where, I mean, if I could have an interview with Chael Sonnen, or maybe on Joe Rogan's podcast, I would say, Chael, mate, mate, Aussie fucking Tucker, mate, all you need to do was get a copy of Kino Body's superhero workout program, and you would have raised your test levels, so you put on incredible mass and power and size. I mean, look at this. Look at this. We've got Mr. Kino Body, the self preener of Instagram. He's out angling Ronnie motherfucking full netty bra common. Now, Ronnie Coleman is a police officer. He's also a natural lifter. So I think that if Chael Sonnen and the other hundred or so UFC fighters and boxers who are getting busted for taking anabolic steroids, man, all they had to do, instead of ruining their career and missing out on a whole stack of sponsorship money, if they just spent 37 bucks and bought Kino Bodies, superhero muscle Greek warrior workout body, 12-week transformation, that's all they would have needed, man. You know, maybe a little bit of uh, Ronnie Coleman's whey protein or maybe a bit of TMW's creatine. I mean, look at TMW. These guys are in their 40s, full natty bra, just full natural. You know what I mean? I mean, these guys, look at their photos from years ago, nothing spectacular. But these guys are incredible specimens. I mean, some people say that's gyno on their tits, their breasts. No, 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 that's not gyno. That's them just doing too much creatine. And too much creatine can aromatize and cause a bit of like, so it's called not it's not called gyno, it's more like creo, like creole. You know, that's what it is, it's creole team. So uh, I would say TMW, more uh, my favorite natties, but Kino Body would be the, the upstart natty. So Charles Sonnen, mate, you definitely made a mistake. Uh, Kino Body with his growth hormone injection site photo controversy going on there. I mean, look at them delts. People say use a bit of synthol, a bit of micro dose of synthol. No, 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 no. It's the superhero body program he sells to the teenagers. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. So Chael Sonnen, anyone out there, I would recommend never take anabolic steroids. They don't even work. Even Kino Body admits steroids don't work. And if you do take steroids, you'd be like 200 kilos. I mean, you'd look like a look like the Incredible Hulk. All right. So you can't get steroids. Steroids don't work. They make into 200 kilo mega machine. They were legal. No one uses drugs anyway in the US, especially the US. I mean, in Australia, I mean, like, pff, no one uses drugs here either. Um, simple as that. Uh, if you have any questions, Chow Sonnen, get back to me. I can hook you up with Kino Body. Maybe we can do a little uh, affiliate program before we get 10% off a deal. That's my comments and criticisms. No hate to anyone here. Uh, I think full natty bodybuilding in force. I think we should sell more of these ebooks to the teenagers and show them that you can, you can just, if you just like, intermittent fast if you eat your big mac at 10 a.m instead of 10 30 a.m you too can have the delts you can have the delts that people dream of man you can get the grow gains bro on the daily you know what i mean no pecs no sex intermittent fasting big macs at 10 30 not 10 a.m man i can't believe these kids think that you can eat a big mac at 10 a.m mate if you want to have the roido body physique, you got to have it at 10.30 a.m., guys. 10 a.m., man. Fucking Big Mac till 10. So just in case there's any confusion, I definitely think Kino body is full natty bra. He is 100% natural. And the biggest reason is he's only about 83 kilos, man. He's not even that big. So he's like 83 kilos. And nobody in the history of sport has ever taken anabolics who was only 83 kilos. I mean, look at Chao Sonnen. He was 83 kilos as well. Siri, I need Bruce Wayne's number.
the real Bruce Wayne. We need to get Charles Sodden's exact weight stat. This is for YouTube. It is very important. Siri. Are you there, Siri? Are you there? Always. What the fuck happened to your voice, Siri? You sound like you're on the D bowl. Who? Me. <laughs> Siri, are you full natty bra? I'm sorry, Harley. I'm afraid I can't answer that. Why? Are you trying to sell some ebooks to some teenagers? Here's what I found on the web for go to sell me books on teenagers. Siri, you're a fake natty motherfucker trying to make money on the fucking innocent noob teenagers. Well, I never. Oh my god, Siri, your fucking voice, dude. You're making it so obvious, man. <laughs> Full natty bra. I'd blush if I could. Anyway, Siri, um, do you think Kino body's full natty? Let me check that. Okay, I found this on the web for arm. Do you think you know what is the natty?